We're getting new details today about what exactly happened to a 74 year old man who spent, get this, five days trapped and forgotten in a burned out shell of a DC senior complex, the Arthur Capper Senior Center in Southeast. It was destroyed after a major fire there nearly a year ago. Uh, in a $3 million lawsuit filed today, Raymond Holton says his life will never be the same. Our Scott Broom is at the ruins of the complex at 5th and K. Scott, what a remarkable story of survival. Uh, it, it, it was. I mean, the lawsuit's one thing, but this is the first time we're really hearing the details of this because Mr. Raymond Holton is disabled and he's still in a nursing home after what happened here nearly a year ago. Now that this lawsuit has been filed, his lawyer, William Lightfoot, spent some time with me here at the ruins of the Arthur Capper complex to give me these new details of exactly what it was like for Mr. Holt. It was horrible. Uh, it, he had no electricity, no water, no heat, no air conditioning, uh, but there was water dripping through the ceiling because you know there's water in the building. Yeah, he, he got wet, he couldn't get dry, he had no food. The food he had in, in his refrigerator spoiled, his toilet didn't work. So imagine the stench that poor guy went through. Uh, but what he said, and he had no light because he had two narrow windows in there. Uh, and he said what he did was pray. He just did a lot of praying. Uh, there was a crew in there, apparently some engineers, looking to determine how bad the building was damaged. And when they got there, they heard him banging on the door, is my understanding. He was sitting on the couch soaking wet uh, in his own urine and feces, um, pretty emaciated, very hungry, and, and very much disoriented. They needed crowbars to open his door. And there's testimony that there's no way Mr. Holton could have gotten out through that door. In addition to that, his cell phone got wet, so he couldn't use his cell phone, so he had no way to communicate with anyone. He had a very small window in, in his apartment, but that faced into an area where nobody was located. So we had no way to communicate with anybody, just to sit there in the dark and pray that someone would eventually find him. When the fire was out, the fire department asked the management company, Edgewood, is everybody out of the building? Edgewood told the DC fire department, yeah, everybody's gone, don't worry about it, they're safe. But in fact, that was false. That was an incorrect statement. In addition to that, the management company had disconnected the fire alarm. And of course, as a result of that, my client, Mr. Holton, he didn't know there was a fire going on. He didn't get warning and he couldn't get out of the building. We in the city and the people that run these buildings, they've got to do better. Just because these were elderly people living in that building, they should not have been taken advantage of by a, by a landlord who had poor security, didn't give a damn about uh, fire alarms and smoke detectors. That should not be permitted. Pretty compelling details there from Mr. Holton's attorney. Holton is suing for $3 million plus penalties against the management firm Edgewood Management. Edgewood Management we contacted today. They said they're not in a position right now to make any comments on this lawsuit. Reporting live in Southeast, Scott Broom, WUSA Now. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, I drive by on 395. You see that shell of a building. Think of the lives who used to live there. And thankfully, that man, it's a miracle that he made it out. Thanks, Thanks Scott.